Welcome to my tutorial on the basics of sequences. During this tutorial, I'm going to just run you through um, some of the main terminology um, that is linked to the topic of sequences. And we're just going to have a look at a few different types of sequences and how they can be um, constructed. Okay. Um, so if you're enjoying my channel, I'm going to take this opportunity to ask you to like and subscribe. Okay. It helps others to find us. Um, so let's, without further ado, further ado, let's get on and talk about sequences. Now, sequences um, are all about patterns and numbers, okay? And the most basic sequences that you learn right at the beginning of your school careers are times tables, okay? So, for instance, the two times table or the three times table, okay? And we know those off by heart. I'm sure. And um, the, the two times table and the three times table have uh, a common difference between their terms. Now what we do is we call each number in the sequence is a term, okay? And what we have as well is what's called the term to term rule. That is the rule that takes one term to the next. So in the two times table, it's the term to term rule is going to be plus two. And in the three times table, it's going to, of course, be plus 3. Okay. Now, we don't always have to start at, if it's the 2 times table at 2 or the 3 times table at 3, we could start at any number. We could start at, um, I don't know, 15. And we could be adding 4 on as the term to term rule. Okay, so if I add on 4 as my term to term rule, Add four, okay, and then add four. Let's get the first, let's get the first five terms of this sequence. Uh, one, two, three, four. One more. Add four. What do we get as the first five terms of this sequence? Then we'd get nineteen. We'd get twenty-three. We'd get twenty-seven. We'd get thirty-one. And we could keep going if we wanted to. Okay. So the key things, the key bits of terminology. Um, or vocabulary that we've encountered just now are term, okay, these are the numbers in the sequence, terms, the numbers in the sequence, and also the term to term rule, or sometimes called the term to term difference. Okay, and that's kind of self explanatory how we go from one from one term to the next. Okay, so far so good. Now, sequences. Not all sequences only use positive integers. Now there's another word that we might not have encountered before. What is an integer? An integer is a very fancy word for a whole number. Okay, so 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, they're integers. We can have positive integers. We can also have negative integers. We can have minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Okay, for instance, what do you think of this? We've got the sequence 10, 7, 4, and 1. What's the term to term rule? If we were asked for the term to term rule, what would it be? How do we go from 10 to 7, 7 to 4, 4 to 1? Now what? Okay, well, hopefully, it's really easy to see we're taking away 3 to go from one term to the next. Term to term rule is minus 3. That's a negative integer. Now what? If we take one, we take the number 1 and we subtract 3 from it, where do we get to? A number line might help here. Okay, so we've got 1, 2, might even have 3 here, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. If you're not sure, draw yourself a number line. We're at 1, and we're going to be taking away 3. There's 1. I'm going to jump 3 spaces to the left. 1, 2, 3. There we go. Minus 3. And we get to the next term would have to be minus 2. Okay. Let's look at the next one. We've got um, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8. It's an increasing function. So it's going to be plusing. But is, an is it an integer? No, I don't think so. Okay, 
if we wanted to know the difference between the terms, we could actually just take one term and subtract the one before it. That would give us the difference between them. So in this case, 6 subtract 4 is 2. 2 subtract 2 is 0. The difference is 0 0.2, so that's what we're adding on each time. This time, we're adding on a decimal. So what would we get if we were adding on another 0 0.2 to 2.8? So let's have a look. 2.8 add 0 0.2. 8 plus 2 is 10. We'd have to carry the 1, put the decimal place in. 2 plus 0 is 2. Add 1 is 3. So the next term would have to be 3. Or, if you like, we're going to keep the, keep the pattern. Well, these are all to one decimal place. 3.0 if you like. You could just have 3, that's fine. Okay, all right, so last ones. Um, not all sequences have the same term to term difference now, so you have to write the differences down. Now, usually when you start, when you get a sequence, the first thing to always look at is the difference between the terms, and sometimes patterns will jump out. So in this one, we've got difference of 2, 3, 4, and 5. Follow the pattern, what would come next? Of course, it would be to plus 6. So what would be the next term in the sequence? 19 plus 6, 25. Okay, so we could have sequences like that. We could also have sequences like this where, what's the difference? 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay, now what do we notice about 1, 2, 4, 8? Well, what do we do to the number to go from 1 to 2, then 2 to 4, then 4 to 8? Looks like we're multiplying by 2. So what would be the next difference? It would have to be 8 times 2, 16. So it would have to be adding on a 16 here, wouldn't we? Okay, so 17 and 16 is whoops, 33. Yeah, okay, 33. Let's make that a little bit clearer. Uh, yeah, 33. There we go. And the last one now, I don't know whether you've come across this sequence before. It's a very famous sequence. It's named after an Italian mathematician called Fibonacci. And basically, Fibonacci noticed that these numbers are very special in nature. They come up all the time, such as things like um, the formation of um, pine cone um, spirals are in a Fibonacci sequence, and they're linked to these numbers. And the number of petals on flowers are usually a Fibonacci number. Um, and all sorts of other things, the way that plants grow with their, their stems and their leaves, the way that they they grow in that way is usually in the Fibonacci sequence in terms of the number of leaves that sprout. This is probably something I'll I'll focus on in a, in a future tutorial, I'll go into a bit more depth, but it's a really fascinating subject. There's plenty of things on YouTube that you can you can uh, find out about the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, there's some, some fascinating videos on there. So. What do we notice about the numbers? Let's have a look. I'm going to need a bit more space, maybe. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. Now, have a look at those numbers. Feel free to pause the video if you like, if you want to have a go at looking for the, the link between these numbers, how we might go from uh, numbers or a couple of numbers to the next. There's a bit of a clue. Okay, so feel free to pause the video now. Okay, and I'm ready to go through it. So if you haven't already spotted it, um, 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, and the next one, put it in a different colour, 1 plus 2 gives you 3. And <laughs> 2 plus 3, guess what, gives you 5. And let's do the next one, 3 plus 5 gives you 8. So following that sequence, okay, so basically if you add up the preceding two terms, you get the next term. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. What would go in this space here? Well, it would have to be 5 plus 8, wouldn't it? Okay, so the next Fibonacci number is the number 13. What would be the next one, just for fun? 8 plus 13, what's that? That's 21. Okay, 
and so on. Really fascinating subject. I would thoroughly recommend going and looking that one up for your extra um, enrichment. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our lesson just now on sequences. As I said, please like and subscribe. It does help others to find us.